OK, that's the bees. Now for the birds. Across the road from Honeyworld is Currumbin Wildlife Sanctuary, which many years ago was called Currumbin Bird Sanctuary. Nowadays, this place is home to all manner of wonderful creatures, but it all started in 1947 with some cheeky birds and a beekeeper called Alex Griffiths. And this is his backyard where we're standing right now, where he used to keep bees and grow flowers in this area. And what would happen is the lorikeets would fly down and they'll destroy the flowers. So Alex had an idea, he thought, if I feed these beautiful birds, it will stop them from destroying my flowers. What he didn't realise is before he knew it, he had hundreds and hundreds of lorikeets landing in his backyard waiting for some food. And so an iconic Gold Coast attraction was born. And today, people come from all over the world to feed the wild rainbow lorikeets. This must bring back so many memories of people. Hello, mister. A lot of memories. We had a lady come in the other day that had come 25 years ago. Wow. And she had a photo uh, with her of when she was a kid holding the lorikeet. So for her, it was a really special moment to come back from when she was a child as an adult and, uh, and have that experience again. So there we go, there they go. And that's a fright flight. That's when something scares them off. Wild lorikeets chow down twice a day at Crumbin Wildlife Sanctuary. Entry to the lorikeet arena is free. And to feed the birds costs a mere gold coin donation, which goes to the sanctuary's animal hospital. It's free admission to Super Bee Honeyworld too, but to see the live bee show costs $7.50 per person.